Come have some fun and watch some games. Time to get crazy. It's night and day. Yeah. Night and day, back again. Yes, we are back, back in the world of the devil and me. Yeah, this time we're here with Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yes, indeed. We're just trying to get those good vibrations going. Oh, uh, and references. Let's go. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I have a very strong feeling these vibrations are only going to get way, way worse. Oh, okay. Kate's beckoning us that way with her Dale... Yeah, her Daleisms. So we're going to explore every... <gasps> ha -ha what? You are kidding. That is so... One more... Like, we're in this area points. where there's so much art on the wall, and yep. one is actually relevant. So you can't yeah. really take anything for granted in this... Yeah, exactly. The way they have it set up, it's like... It does pay to check it out constantly. Okay. What? Sometime before Charlie is burned to death in a fire pit, <laughs> he's united with good old Aaron. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the premonitions in Little Hope were not things that... They were things that didn't necessarily have to happen. They were things that could happen. Yeah. And right. unlike the hints from the fortune teller in the quarry, they couldn't... They were just collectibles. They couldn't really direct us to improving a choice or not. Right. They were so far removed. Mm -hmm. They it's... were like end game results that could have happened from a multitude of other choices. Exactly. Yeah. You're having so many different variables that have to happen in a specific way in order for you to get that premonition. And it could be any, like, any one choice could change that outcome. So you're just not sure where or if that's going to happen. Right. So, and they weren't yeah. necessarily choices that were even seemingly related to mm -hmm. that outcome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Let us talk about our love, our love, actually. Yes, our love. Talk about our love with me, Kate. Oh, no, oh, oh. cold shoulder. No, no, oh. she's just ignoring you. Won't she even has... look me in the E's. No, no. That's a weird way to, a weird place Mark, to look. Look at, okay, you guys, are, you've got no, they too much couldn't. baggage. Yeah, yeah, they can't even, uh, they can't even be next to each other, although they're going on adventures so by each other, by yeah. themselves. Here. Are we breaking one of his rules? We did say not did to he... go wandering. And we did yeah, really. practically mm -hmm. bust the door down and get in here. We? What? So, maybe we should take care. Probably. Did we miss a scene where we forced this yeah, door? Just, yeah, I mean... Shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were found in teenagers? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I I think it would have been better to have like a button mashing X segment there, but maybe we were supposed to have, because yeah, that we did Oh boy, that was loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. It was intended to. It was actually intended to scare the hell out of us, Mark, right. because you don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, shinies. You cannot be scared. You exist through us. Oh, man, is this freaking game made in Hong Kong? For Because here are some shinies for the Chinese. <laughs> was he the devil? Ah, hmm. oh, secret, good. Yeah, perfect. Since his first book in 2002, Joseph Morello has been fascinated by investigating serial killers, and none have, <laughs> none have me, have intrigued him more than H. H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morello examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing, separating fact from fiction to provide evidence about the truth behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? A must for Morello fans. Real Killers Magazine. It's like an analysis of your worst nightmares. Review monthly. Ah, um, yes. So, H.H. Hmm. Holmes is uh, getting a lot of spotlight here. Oh, yeah. So, Arthas confirmed that the H.H. H. Holmes guy, he left his comment. Yep. He yep. said, that guy was the guy that you had heard about mm -hmm. who was the actual um, murderer who this, this game was based off of. Right. So, they, it was, it, they didn't even... Rebel. Really? They. Oh, we're looking at this and not the papers on top? Yeah, okay. right, right. He's just. Reminiscing about. He just got hit with nostalgia for uh, vandalism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, I used to keep people's cars in middle school. Yeah. Uh, it was actually the guy named Holmes. And mm -hmm. 
Wow, yeah. H.H. H. Holmes, it was not a made-up character based on an actual serial yeah. killer. That was the real serial killer's name. So thanks for that background, Arthas. Yeah. Travis did know yeah, it sure. was based off of a real person, but not that they were taking it that far where it, they're basing it off the exact person. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't, for whatever oh, yeah. reason, I didn't think they would uh, they would use the exact like serial killer for it. But, I mean, it did happen almost 200 years ago or like 100 and... 80 years ago or whatever, so. Oh, okay. Whoa, what? did you notice that? What? What's up? I have to, I had to do the little hope thing. To what? Like, look at it and yeah. focus on it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 it's down. Okay. I didn't notice you got a new inventory slot, Mark. It's very minimalistic down there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Use your monopod, Mark. Use this to obtain mono. <laughs> Congrats. Oh, crap. That scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I'm going to get us killed in these <laughs> quick time events. Yeah, they're super short. Like, you have a second or less. Secret found. Births, deaths, marriages. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall of Silver Spring announced the birth of their daughter Marilyn on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. Elaine and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son Maurice on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. On behalf of their daughter Lucinda Monday, proud grandparents George and Irene Monday of Silver Spring announced the birth of their grandson Hector Whalen on June 11th at White Oak Hospital. That okay. one is circle. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Circle, circle, dot, dot. Now you've got the birth of the new child <laughs> at White Oak Hospital. <laughs> Why well, he put it down there? I do my best to make sure it looks like I was never here. Right, yeah. But, yeah. But that's how... But yeah, that sucks. That means any of those things before, I don't know. There were probably a few of them where we looked at something and didn't find something. Um, potentially. I'm pretty I sure mean, there were yeah. where there was a look at thing and we didn't see anything. But we didn't do the look in every extent. Oh, right, right, yeah. Because they didn't tutorial us on that this time. Yeah, I remember try doing it for a couple things and I didn't see anything, but... Um, yeah, there, I mean, there could have been a possibility that we've already missed a secret. That's, that's what I'm sure. saying, yeah. 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 There we go. You're gonna see the little girl. Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Oh, Raincoat Boy. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He is, uh, watch him be like an animatronic. <laughs> like, I was thinking that for the limousine driver. Mm, okay. Because they didn't want him to show his face to the right to right the team but even this guy yeah he hasn't shown any parts and he's wearing the same gloves as the limo driver so that was weird that mark came to that conclusion before the person actually was there like they and before he, has, he walked across he's like looks like we're not alone while we're alone yeah and then <laughs> and then he scampers into the prophecy yeah although he has seen this person before like he was the one that took their stuff Okay, so before the balcony, let's go here for the next set of Look optional at this stuff. Wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Why is it exciting? It's yeah. wallpaper. Can we take a picture of it? This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. <laughs> no. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could have taken a picture of Walkie like McGee. As much as the next mm. person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Is that more commentary on the relationship? <laughs> oh, maybe. Right. That's it. What? This is we got here. I've been selling something faint, distant. Can't place it. That's from Maldahide. Oh, so there's a lot of bodies, is what he's saying. Hmm. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Fish Whatever factories. It is, it's dead as hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fish factory. Dead fish factories. Yeah, they <laughs> whoever <laughs> left the fish factory just left it all all the inventory. Oh my god, these guys with their freaking relationship baggage. Let's move on from your freaking Bilbo baggage already. <laughs> 
Okay. All right. It's going to be loud. Right. Mark. Sure, let's do it. Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Okay. Come on. Yeah. So the audio doesn't work you on know these all for this. us. What do you we're want? Put it in here for you guys, so we'll just yeah, try and pay just... attention to what's going on here. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? Yes. What were your friends like? What were you like Taking a child? survey, you try to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? Yeah, really. Please you wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well... Maybe there was so one man I found myself interrogation with Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. Oh no, this guy. Yeah, it was like inspired Why? by Holmes. Inspired by him. Because he oh, was so a copycat. Oh, no. This could be, yeah, America's a first. killer, something like that. The guy mm. invented the trade. Yeah. He That's set the, the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. Oh, Monday. Okay. You think because I stuck a so blade Monday, in some people and get off on it? And the people in I'm this book smart. circled the I, uh, grandchildren of Monday. Yeah. Allegedly. Right. Killed 13 people Perfect. before you got smart enough to find me. All right. Mm. Well. All right. So now we're learning uh, about the other people that have. Oh, wow. About the other people that are uh, inspired by Helms. Oh, good. That's not what I thought you were going to say. We we're learning Mandarin now. That's good. I'm <laughs> glad because that makes much more sense. And if we were learning Mandarin, I would just I'm way behind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, how great would it be if I could just if I just start spilling out Mandarin right now? <laughs> spilling it out? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Spilling. All right. Spilling yeah. like Dylan. <laughs> just need to find a way through. I just got to break through this window. Oh, the balcony is locked. We have to go back to oh. the balcony door because he just gave us dialogue that means the balcony, we can't go in it. Mm. Find a key. And that's going to update our mission. Unless. And then we go upstairs. Oh, yeah. That climb ladder that ladder. To get yeah. the key or to get into the room that has the key. All right. So now let's confirm. It's got to be a way through. Yep. Okay. It's almost as if. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, almost as if we need a key. That's for sure. Definitely need a key. Not necessarily a donut, though. Somebody give me a key. Somebody give me a donut. Somebody give me a key. Somebody give me a donut. <laughs> Either one will work. <laughs> <laughs> he just mashes the donut into the lock. <laughs> Perfect. It's the master key. <laughs> no, this is from a time when... Um, like in, back in high school mm -hmm. when me and my friend were uh, at a Dunkin' Donuts, mm -hmm. but we didn't have, we got locked outside of a car uh. <laughs> or we ha didn't have our keys. Or, and so that was the chant that we just, uh. because yeah, the donut wouldn't have helped. But if you're at a Dunkin' Donuts, what are you going to do? Yeah, like and, and besides, you, yeah. Why wouldn't you just go for the donut? If you see a bunch of people eating donuts, then you're sad about not having a key and not having a donut. So that became the mantra somebody give us a key somebody give us a donut so like either way it'd be an improvement nobody did nobody gave us either of those things <laughs> no we're sitting there wow they're clearly just they're just being terrible human beings not helping all right that almost looked real just a minorest of pauses oh yeah sure just push that down no one's, yeah. no one's going to hear it. Even running and jumping along this stuff where you've seen broken things already and you know the place is not up to code. Yeah, they already or said this purposefully. Is, they already said it's like rotting. Really? Really? Right. Yeah. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> I you guys it. were talking about not wanting to get caught and that he'd be upset. So this is... I love that he didn't even give Kate a heads up. <laughs> He's That's just true. underneath. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> I guess this place does have a history of murderers. <gasps> uh, Dumet is a murderer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Guys, I found Kate's body here for some reason. Yeah, I was just randomly coming around here, and yeah, who would have thought? But 
Uh, we gotta uh, get uh, the uh, heck uh, out of Dodge. Uh, 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 uh. Dodge this. <laughs> so wait, where? Uh, you gotta push it. Where's a way to get over? Uh, to the right. Yeah, up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Come here. Come here. Come hither. Where's Kate? I'm surprised she didn't have anything to say about that because, boy, that was a. Uh, like, they should be able to hear that How in, like, I... the next city over. There we go. No, Mark, 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 Mark. Put it against the wall, Mark. Okay, we're. we're... All right, okay. smooth sailing. There we go. Good enough, maybe. Let's see if that works. Mark, uh, yeah, Mark. you should be able to push it in from there. Mark, Mark, Mark. Yeah, Mark, it's Mark, pretty. Mark, uh, Mark, 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 Mark. It's pretty specific about where it wants you to be. There we go. Yeah. That was weird. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think that's good enough. That boys. should work. Yeah. Uh, probably not. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> that is not good enough, boys. <laughs> uh oh, now I'm stuck forever. Oh uh, no. Oh, that's a good idea. Merc in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> a literal rendition of that. There we go. Okay. I'm so, that I, was that little of a difference. <laughs> I know. He pushed it all of like <laughs> less than a foot. And then he's like, oh, thank goodness. We can finally make it. Yeah, this game has more video game elements to it because they added climbing and all yeah, this right. that they can do, right. crouching. But it also, it's doesn't fit for the story of we're not trying to make waves here this guy gave them a golden opportunity you're not gonna throw it all away just for one like extra scene mm. would you go through all of this or would you just quickly run downstairs find you met and say oh hey can we use the balcony oh right right yeah what would you guys do <laughs> set up this freaking elaborate obstacle course parkouring through a place where you know the guy told you not to or ask a quick question. And you know that... You know he doesn't want you to be in these places that you're like... Alright, so yeah. Are being watched, of course. Uh, yeah, but we know this place, A, gives us the creeps. Is B, in shambles. And uh, C, he doesn't want us poking around. But yeah, this is our golden opportunity to save basically all of our jobs. But, uh, yeah, but they don't need this one balcony scene to do so. Right, right, yeah. They're just trying to, uh, like, Kate isn't, and him are trying to get this one shot, or, like, establishing shot, and that's it. And isn't Jamie's... Well, they want to get the whole intro to the show, so it mm -hmm. could make a difference, but isn't Jamie's job lighting? She could fix yeah. something up, as opposed to literally going and searching this guy's place and throwing things in different places and things. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you an Orville? Orville I mean, Redenbacher? Yeah, I was about to say. Give us popcorn? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Are you the skull kind or the bear? Oh, skull. yes. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. That is a yeah. score for the player, but for you, isn't it just no, random just trash? To, uh, yeah. Now we just, we do have to see how much things actually cost. Right. <laughs> like, and if it, it's just dioramas, yeah. it seems so <laughs> weird. <laughs> That would be great. It's like, oh, you get to the end of the game for 30, 30 ovals or whatever. <laughs> oh, what was that? I can move this? Yeah. I can move this. Those wondrous balls. Hmm. Those, and oh, there's... do we need it up there? I don't think so. No, I mean, no whatever. things in the banisters. Yeah, wherever there's banisters. Oh, it's on that side by the window. Okay, to the windows to, of the walls. Yeah, exactly. Can you, uh... Are you going to be able to pull this out? You are. Huh. Wow. I hope it has wheels, or else Mark is just shredded. Like... Shredder. No. Seems, uh... Seems like he's just full-on dragging it. No no problem. No huh. problems at all. I mean, it made a sound as if it mm -hmm. had wheels. But it doesn't right, right. look like it has wheels. No, definitely not. Merkin, uh, where's... Merkin. My name is Merk. I'm gonna go in and get to work. <laughs> Gotta move this over here. I ain't no jerk. Gonna get my girl back. Gonna get the show recorded. <laughs> Gonna save our jobs today. You heard it first. From Merc. 
<laughs> That's his resume. <laughs> It's better He's than the resumes just, they actually turn That is in. true, yeah. There are video resumes left a lot to be desired, for sure. Now, is there anything here hidden behind the crevice where this used to be? Nope. No. Nope. The blank just crevasse. Can you uh, go in that door, or is it just locked? No. Okay, well. Good. Worth a shot. Yeah, exactly. Worth a shot. <laughs> well, my name is Merck. <laughs> That's uh, like Aaron has her own "Don't Get Scared" song. That's, that has to be Mark's. I want to see everybody. There's like that's what you get when you win the end of the game. Everyone just sings to you. There you go. What? Oh. So there's a few glitches. It Where, seems like uh, <laughs> overall, it's like a good a gaming experience. Yeah. But yeah, that was we've come up to just a few points that are a little unusual. All right, Merc, let's get low. <laughs> drop it, drop it low. Like Shody? <laughs> Excuse me, Shouty. Shouty? Oh, low. Excuse me, Shouty, would you please stop shouting? It's it's really loud and obnoxious. Hot! What? No sprinting. I tried. I guess this area, like the threshold is confusing his existence. Oh, resistance. right, right. Hot! Choo! Oh, okay. I was like, oh, don't tell me. You're going to have to go down there and slightly nudge it in a different direction. My name is Mark. Yeah, this is a lot I just for the... Uh... Work. <laughs> Mark? You okay in there? I'll be right back. I gotta oh. take a doomp. <laughs> I'm dooping on the rump. Oh, and then you have to move it back over there. Oh, no. Yeah. I guess you're right. But you do have a ladder to climb down. Yeah, so... so they do make on. it... It's his... Like you did, like you said before, it's very Elder Scrolls esque a little bit, just like yeah, or Assassin's Creed, or right, Dark Souls, right. except there's no monsters all over the place. But yeah, it's basically you gotta do some platforming puzzle working, which is I don't know if Supermassive is filling out their resume for another type of game design because mm -hmm. this has nothing to do with the other games that they've made, and it's just a slightly awkward fit because of the reasons that we mentioned. Mm -hmm. They aren't gonna do this <laughs> yeah <laughs> this this one job is gonna potentially save their entire show yeah they're right. not gonna risk pissing this guy off this badly for one scene yeah if they get kicked out now then that's game over like but it is weird that chris is like even advocating for them to do this he's like yeah go find out other stuff go pry in his business um and then the other people are slightly more reluctant but I mean, he's the boss, I guess. Yeah, for that one part. Like that one segment with Kate. Yeah. Um, but for, this is these guys on their own, mm -hmm. taking matters into their own hands. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know if Charlie would have been still super on board with... It seems like he would have been if he had known that they would have had to, you know... Literally move the train car around yeah, and such. Yeah, right, It seems right. like that is way too far... For, because he did want them to keep a low profile. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Hey, no, tell me. There's um, something. Prompt, please. Prompt. I'm going to rip your balls off. Prompt. Prompt. You are uh, a ball. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you can climb up on this. Huh. Well, let's do it. Maybe we can use his monocle or whatever. <laughs> his mono beam. Mononucleosis. Okay, let's get back down. There. Yeah, yeah. And unlock the door first, or whatever else we can do around here. Oh, oh, good. Utter darkness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't ah, think finally. The perfect shot. Utter darkness. Ha! Ah, we moved our own heads. We moved our own heads. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's for you guys. We're in a whole new place now. We moved libraries. Mark still looking out of focus <laughs> because of the darkness in his heart today. He may murder you. He's not gonna play. So look out behind you. <laughs> Here comes Mark. He's gonna murder you in the dark. Ho oh, oh, ho! Wow, that? yeah. If if you thought you were creeped out just playing this game, <laughs> like <laughs> this game is 4D. <laughs> if if Mark dies in real life, he comes for you. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, practice my quick time events. Practice my quick time. Events. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> Is that you practicing your quick time? <laughs> <laughs>
Climb this fast. Quick, climb this, <laughs> climb this ladder. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we want to go up that thing, though. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the other quick time event that we need to do. Uh, <laughs> no, he's... What? He's not having it. What's happening? He is Mark, not, not having do it. Do the power. drop down, Mark. Do the drop down. Boogie, Remember? Boogie, 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 boogie. Remember? Shouty? <laughs> You gotta get low. The, by the way, oh, the sprint man. button does not seem to impact the stair. Yeah, I don't. Animation. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. We, sorry guys, that bit was uh, that bit took a long time for us as well. All right, so wow. here we go. He is confident that he's gonna be able to make it back. Yeah, he's also confident in like the support, yeah. the sturdiness of these items that are clearly. Ah, there's the key. Oh. Huzzah. But what else is, is there in this little room? Yeah. And it looks like there should be like certain kind of books or something like that you can take pictures of, but you haven't yeah. seen anything. Mm. Yeah, this is like the exact same identical stack right. of papers that was in the room with the desk that he acknowledged the chip on or the vandalized desk or yeah. whatever. The slashy it's, slashy McGilly. Yeah, it's probably like an axe that got buried in the uh, in the edge of it or whatever, but he's just like, Oh yeah. Somebody hated doing work. What is this? It's like Framed, damaged part of the wall. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, particle board, I think. Oh, I put, like, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can get them on Amazon. Really? We gotta do this finagling? Yeah. <laughs> that's suspicious. There's only one key in this entire yeah. rack, and it's for the balcony. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. That was a little weird. He's just rubbing his body against it. <laughs> he's, maybe, yeah, maybe he's seen our Star Tropics playthrough and he knows that's the only way you can find every secret in the room. He was just checking. Yeah, he's just rubbing his face longingly. Kate is just like, what the heck? I think we made the right call. Not, not pursuing this relationship further. <laughs> I'm going to rub this key up against my face. I'm going to pretend it's you. I'll probably get hepatitis from it. It's so rusty. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to rekindle? <laughs> if you didn't like me before, you're going to love me with hepatitis C. <laughs> also, That's... since we broke up, I got a little bit of the herp. A little bit of the herpy jerpies. That's a really... <laughs> oh, yeah, I keep forgetting his... Uh... Then why would you have just climbed around like... on the... He purposely, Narrow yeah, platforms. he's like jumping from place to place. I wonder how high it has to be for it to affect him. <clears throat> Encouraging. We're still yeah. trying to be nice. Yeah, exactly. We have it probably save lives. Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. His voice is so <laughs> off. You look amazing as usual. Hmm. Aren't you always camera ready? Oh, this is so uh, three floors up. I'm Mark, okay. So I can handle two floors, but um, yeah, exactly. One flight of stairs, I could live there. I don't do three floors at a time. Okay, yeah. I'm Mark. Two flights of stairs, you must be out of your goddamn mind. Also, by the way, this didn't lead to the balcony. I'm going to have to send a letter of complaint to the manager of this establishment. You, uh, I feel you're like always camera ready, kid. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's what he's that's what he's sending a letter about. I just oh, can't live like no this way. Anymore. Ooh. Belong to the victims of H.H. H. Holmes. Yeah, there they are. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. The necklace mm. and the wedding ring from one oh, wow. Marie whatever her last name was, Whitley. Yeah, right. Mr. and Mrs. Oh no way. Is oh, it a real his, bowler hat? It's, it's, it's his hat. Hmm. H.H. H. Holmes. Sherlock. Uh, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Yeah, really. I guess we're doing it. Fuck! Nice. Oh, you okay? <laughs> I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> I love that they sprung a trap for it. That's so bizarre. That's so much work. See? Well, what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. Well, I wouldn't be standing so close, it but it has a knife. You. It scared you twice. 
Yeah, is the knife live? Yeah, right. Hey, it scared Charlie, you twice? Nice. Me. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, that sucks. Huh. I wonder so, if that was legit hey, timed or if I just took too long because I was exploring everywhere. I don't know. May, I, I imagine it's whenever you interact with those things. So, yeah, maybe there's one or two more things to see. I don't know. But. This is on him, Mark, not me. How many, like, double-sided uh, wow. mirrors are there? Why is forceful of the heart? I'm tired of watching fight. All right, now we're just going to be yeah. behind. Yeah. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half Tolerant the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Then that's not <laughs> moral. <laughs> yeah, all right. I don't think he seems to think he owns you, that's but you're definitely employees. They have a vision. Right. The ego yeah. has to play in a little bit. That's yeah, he doesn't think he owns you, camera. but yeah. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but... Neither do you. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. 40-something still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. That's <laughs> cold. Yeah. <laughs> right. Doesn't matter. Okay, just wanted us to take another, it first side. But... There, I don't think there was no. a possible yeah. way to do that with those responses. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's rough. I think supportive more than Good disappointed. That's, yeah. That's definitely the right call. Maybe we should have done the part. say nothing yeah. in those instances. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is true. That is an option. Okay. They didn't put that in, in the tutorial in this game either about sometimes say nothing is a valid choice. Right, right. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. How is he using you? If you feel that way, quit. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. <laughs> yeah, really. Whatever your really? future plans may be, right now. You work for Lonit Entertainment, and Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start. No, have you like met them. any of them? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we um, didn't take the option that said, oh, I hope we were going to move on together. Yeah, right, right. So, how did Mark. Child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Mark, I thought the answers that we gave provided were very profi professional yeah, and loyal. He did. Mark did agree that he's an a hole, or he did say that he's an a hole. But like to that extent, I, I, I mean, he's probably more upset with Kate than Mark. I think. Yeah, it seemed to me that we were, he was taking Mark's side more than Kate's side. Mm, like, yeah. and he was playing the yeah, he's too much sometimes, mm -hmm. but not like. He's always crap all the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Aha! It was a little... It is a little oh. rough when he's like, oh, this is the closest he's going to be to success or something like that. Like, that was probably the biggest burn, especially for Charlie, who thinks, like, oh, he's on the edge or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that was a hit to the ego. But, yeah, I don't think it was as bad as Charlie was, um, like, implying it was. Yeah, yeah. it seemed like Char they were, Charlie was doing the same thing that we've seen in other Supermassive games, which is... No matter what you pick, they get you to a dialogue option where the other characters act a certain way no matter what. Yeah. And the right. Telltale games are better at having separate kind of reactions right, based right. on your choices, whereas sometimes the Supermassive games are okay at that, and other times they just kind of force the dialogue to a path that it didn't sound like that would have naturally proceeded mm -hmm. from the from the actual conversation that you created. Right, right. So they're just forcing you back to that whole, Mark said a bunch of stuff that was anti-Charlie, because yeah. he could have. Right, right, yeah. And exactly. they had Charlie's reaction reflect that, even though 
Yeah, the way that we did it. Yeah, there were a couple of things like yeah, you pointed right, out. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, and he he was supportive of Kate as to leaving. But right. That doesn't right. mean that he's all like anti Charlie. He was still yeah. very supportive of Charlie in that conversation. And Charlie comes through and he's all like, "I'm very disappointed in you, Mark." <laughs> he like no, singles out for Mark, taking yeah. your side. Yeah. <laughs> Never right. take my side again, Mark. Uh, that's so disappointing. Uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, he's basically weaving Mark and Kate, Kate into one thing and then pointing out Mark for what Kate has also said. It's like, it, yeah, it seems a, a, like a way for him to just point the finger at Mark, even though Kate was primarily the one that's just like, oh, yeah, he's a complete, total piece of garbage. Kind yeah. Of thing. yeah. Like, our dialogue could have gotten... Oh, it could have gotten the other choices yeah. seemed yeah. like that would have been the right reaction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the choices we took, I don't necessarily yeah. buy it as a clean realistic mm. reaction it would have been more like they recorded an extra line that said thank you mark but i appreciate your support <laughs> and kate i'm gonna have to talk with you later mm. something like that right, right at least singles out that you made some choices that were not just crapping all over and like kate was doing that entire conversation yeah yeah exactly exactly so anyway yeah. it was still I, I do like the dynamic between the characters, mm-hmm. but yeah, if Kate is trying to pull her own thing, then like, yeah, for her own film reel or whatever, then yeah, like, why the hell yeah, you don't have any leg to stand on? Right, right, yeah. Charlie has a reason to be upset if you're like only there to benefit yourself when you're not like trying to fulfill any creative vision that Charlie has. Like he's your boss at the end of the day. And, it's his show. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. He's the showrunner, and he's the one that's going to. Uh, try to fulfill his creative vision. You're there to make that happen or help him make that happen. So, yeah. Stop trying to do your own stuff in the process. Right. Yeah. If your dialogue, which is kind of funny, mm-hmm. but if, if your dialogue it has nothing to do with his show and you're just trying to, instead, like his, he's trying to keep major documentary and you're trying to get hired for some sort of acting job mm-hmm. and you're all like putting all this extra emphasis into stuff and he wants to keep it very dry and stick to the facts, to the facts like, yeah. like a reporter right and she's right. all and then the tragedy of hh H. holmes became reality for marie and you're like she's like way overselling yeah. everything yeah but exactly. yeah it makes sense that he's not about that but the funny part is right that this whole thing where super massive has put in all of these run jump climb things right right could be them doing the exact same thing where they're getting paid by like one company to make this <laughs> exclusive continuing set of horror games but right. they don't want to they want to branch out into platform oh, and adventure yeah, games so yeah. they're like this is they're planning oh, their own man. resume yeah, yeah. like look we also did platforming and <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that would be really funny that's, that would be hilarious how meta that is yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> oh man yeah next thing you know they're gonna have like the next version of like a uh, I don't know Horizon game or something like that, just running, jumping, or Assassin's Creed or something like that. Yeah, that would be hilarious. And for then sure. in the meantime, mm-hmm. they're taking to their developer or like whatever the publication company. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, but they made Kate much more sympathetic than Charlie. And mm. they're like, oh yeah, and did you see Kate in these scenes where she's really trying to? strike out on her own but charlie's forcing her to stay down and then like the the board is all like "Mm, yes we see yeah and then then later they're like oh yeah but we wanted to do this next game next instead of you know horror game horror movie with character face close-ups version 28 or whatever yeah yeah Yeah. so they're like oh no we couldn't let you do that but remember when you agreed with kate now i am the kate (laughs) and you are the charlie and that, that they're expecting that to be like turn the board into yeah, right. oh, yeah. oh I never mm, thought of it like that. Right, yeah. yeah. When in reality they'll be like No no no, let me explain how this works in, in real life. We're a business. This makes money. You are hired for this. If yeah, you don't right. want to do this, we will hire someone else for this. <laughs> but right now you're under contract. Right. So we're gonna keep doing this. Or no money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, does this not make money? Oh, okay. Well, you can go now. <laughs> we'll find somebody else that will happily make money for us. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not to mention, we're going to sue you for breach of contract. Mm. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You can. We're not Charlie or Kate. <laughs> we're the people who are calling the shots from on high. We're the people who are firing Charlie and Kate when their show doesn't perform. Oh, right, yeah. You understand? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, boy! Yeah. <laughs> the super massive guys are all like, but our plan 
but you don't spo- but you're supposed to like Kate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we went down this rabbit hole. Yeah, really. <laughs> we'll see if uh, we'll see if they actually, I guess, make some more negative uh, decisions towards Kate and Mark in the next one, and how uh, Charlie is going to uh, dig himself out of obviously his employees hating him <laughs> in the in the next episode, uh, or maybe this is the beginning of the end for the relationships of this crew. Who knows? Well, we know um, the tensions uh, are going to be high, mm-hmm. and it's probably like the other Little Hope games where if you make them more friendly, then they have a higher chance to live. Right. It hasn't exactly. really said that. Like, Little Hope game is more of a tutorial. Like, you can lock and unlock certain characters. Yeah, right. But, right. I mean, by now, I would think most people know the drill. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we'll see you guys next time for more freaking creepy setup as all the pieces get into place for yes. once they press that switch yeah. and everything falls apart and the freaking raincoat guy's chasing us and whoever's doing animatronic, they're all and everybody's dying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Coming will... up sooner or later. <laughs> exactly. Yes, we will see you guys on the next episode for more Devil in Me. That is awesome. The shifting walls and everything. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, this is so cool. Yeah.